Hi peoples, how are you all doing? It has been a roller coaster of a day for me. I'm recording this on Friday and the video is going up on Saturday, which will be today for you guys and tomorrow for me. But yeah, day started out great. I finished all my uni work for Christmas, which is awesome. I'm really looking forward to the winter break. You know, how about how about I edit that video for tomorrow? So I go look for my video. And the folder that I keep all of my sped up videos in is gone. So that was fun. Usually to reduce the amount of stuff I'm storing on my computer, because I do everything on one computer, I will take the raw footage of my videos and I will just edit it briefly by cutting out the recording bits at the beginning and end of clips and speeding it all up to four times speed and then just saving it in a little folder. And the folder disappeared! And that was exceptionally annoying. Luckily, I managed to find backups of videos that I'm missing. The videos that I'm missing with this one, um, something that I might post later this week, and probably next week's video. And luckily I managed to find backups, but I was only able to find backups of two videos. Today's video, I could not find the backup of the sped up version, and so I had to go and individually relocate backups of all the original footage and re-speed it up. Which didn't take forever, but it was a bit of a pain. But here I am. Thank you, Dad, for helping me with that, because I never got around to it otherwise. And here we are. So the art, the, the thing you probably came to hear about instead of the mini rant on why, why my computer's annoying me. Earlier this week, the artist ABD Illustrates did an awesome concept corner video where he created villains for like a story that he's kind of I don't know if it's a story he's actually writing or a story he's got in his head and um, they were awesome and I loved it I watch all of his videos I'm going to link the concept corner below because just go watch it's awesome and I was so inspired by it I particularly really like the character of Lorelai who's meant to be a villain but looks super like not a villainy she's kind of the one who looks sort of innocent and you wouldn't expect of her but is actually like super badass. Um, and uh, there's a picture on the left of the screen, hopefully, of her and the drawing he did of her so that I can use that as a reference. And whilst he was talking about the different characters, he said that a concept he had for her was that at some point in the storyline she would kind of go through an evolution and start dressing more evil. And whether that would be because she just snapped emotionally or, you know, because people kind of worked out what she really was and her cover was blown. And I just was like, I've got to have a go at designing that. I want I want to do a Dark Swan version. And I'm saying Dark Swan because she's her outfit's kind of based on the Swan Lake Ballet. So like a black swan versus the white swan. I've never seen the ballet, but like I think that's a general concept. Anyway, her character's ability is that she has the power of her voice. So she can sing or scream and shatter glass and that kind of thing. And so I wanted to do a really cool pose that could show her like, I don't know, like maybe a nervous breakdown kind of screaming or angry screaming or just like darkness and screaming. And because I never draw full bodies and I really wanted to so that I could show off all the ideas I have for the dress and the shoes, I decided to use a 3D model, which you'll have seen at the beginning of the video, although by the time I've got around to talking to it, it's probably not on the screen anymore. And so I had to give a 3D model because I can't draw legs, I've realised. In my sketchbook, if you've ever seen posts from my sketchbook on my Instagram, I always just kind of, I'll draw the torso and then I'll just draw the legs kind of tapering to a point. Almost like a mermaid tail and then I just never define what's going on below below about the knees because I'm bad at it. Um, and so I did just a 3D model to give myself a decent shot at the anatomy. And, you know, hopefully one day I will be good enough to freehand my own anatomy and I'm okay kind of torso upwards. I'm thinking I'm getting a lot better at arms. I might be wrong, but I think I'm getting better at arms. Um, but I just thought, I want this piece to look awesome, and so I'm going to use one of them. The original version that ABD Illustrated... <laughs> ABD... That was not meant to be a pun. Um, the, the original piece that he drew, she was meant to be inspired by opera singers and specifically the ballet, which I already mentioned. And so I think it was him who specifically said that like a dark swan version, or I might come up with that, I don't think I did. And so I took that idea and I ran with it. I looked up some images of ballet outfits from Swan Lake on Pinterest 
and I kind of combined that with the at least the torso of the outfit he had drawn with so turn it black, black feathers and silver detailing like I was seeing in some of these references. And because this character is meant to be going through a transition to at least a more evil form of themselves, I wanted to take all the seemingly innocent and sweet things about their design and kind of twist them a bit. And so I took, for instance, the flowers in her hair and turned them into like thorny branches, which I also did to replace the ribbons around like her waist and her shoes. I decided that instead of ballet pumps, I wanted to give her heels. I mean, partly that was just because I thought the heels were a really nice aesthetic, but partly because um, it's more grown up and more mature and less innocent and childlike, as the character was clearly trying to portray herself. And then I also took the tutu skirt with like all the frills and the prettiness and decided to have a long split skirt, which was kind of the first thing I thought of when I was originally coming up with this idea, was I wanted to do a long split skirt in black and I didn't end up doing it in black because I thought it would be a bit too much black and I think this balances the outfit a bit better but I did a long split skirt and I obviously edged the top of it with feathers like in the original drawing and then I took the long skirt and put frills on the bottom and then I ripped them and I tore them and I just I don't know I feel I, I feel like for goth swan I've done all right here then there's the background of this video, and if you have looked at any other video I've ever made, or any of my Instagram posts throughout time, you'll know I don't really do backgrounds that often. I'm just not very good at them. The only- the one bit of art that I've really worked on over the last year or so is my character design, and everything else is kind of just- I don't enjoy it as much, and so I don't draw it as much. Which is bad, and I need to get better and actually draw things, but, you know, here we are. And so I had such a clear idea though that I wanted her to be, you know, shattering the glass. And so I did try to do a shattered glass effect in the background. I used many, many Pinterest references. And I actually think it somewhat turned out all right. Given that I have poor experience and I didn't spend masses of time on it compared to the rest of the drawing. And I think it actually turned out quite well. I also did some like, um, you know, shattered, like actual pieces of glass floating in the air around her and I, I think it gives a nice effect. Uh, the, after the end of the video I went back and I colour balanced them a bit to make the, dark, the background a bit darker and the contrast a bit greater. And I think that really added to it, so sorry you can't see that, but you will in the final version. And I just think that went really well. One other thing I have to say about this drawing is you might have noticed that Right at the end, after I put all the flats down and a lot of the sh in fact I think I put all the shading down, I decided to change her whole face. And I think it worked and I think it made her look much better. Something about this character was starting to bug me. I think the face didn't fit and the new face she's got still isn't great, but I think it looks a lot better and it just proves that, you know, even when the drawing's almost finished, if you're not happy with it, you can fix it. And here we go. I am well aware that my average view count is about five people, and I am exceptionally grateful for the five people who show up and watch most of my videos, but on the rare and very slight chance that um, ABD Illustrates ever watches this video himself, I just want to say you are the biggest inspiration to me and my art and, you know, you're what really got- you're one of the channels that really got me back into drawing after I rage quit <laughs> a couple years ago, and I just want to say thank you to that. That's all I have to say for today, really. Um, having managed to save my lost work, I may possibly upload an extra video this week on like Christmas Eve, but if I don't do that or you don't see that video, I hope you all have a lovely Christmas and a winter break, and thank you for watching, and bye!